Hi, it's Pekka from Gokbuget and welcome to our forest with Megamax. This is the video I have been waiting so long to publish. Or actually shoot, because I have been dreaming that I will come with Megamax to our forest to forward some trees. And I, I have a few roads behind. I did just come over here and wanted to drive and like enjoy my and it was so I have been so happy over here. It's the road road is <laughs> there is a lot of wood over here. And the machine is actually nice to operate. I will unload this road area now and we will go together to the forest and take the new road. I'm at the moment after several years development work sitting over here inside. There is raining outside, but I have roof over here, so everything is fine. And I have been over here forwarding rocks. I did this stuff over here in the ground. I did cut those down with my wife, and now I'm forwarding those. So it's like usually we at the daytime we uh, cut down, and then at the evening I forward and next to the road this. Yeah, during this video I will show. Uh, more stuff about Megamax. This is still a prototype, but anyways, like there is a lot of good things already over here, and you might notice that this actually comes to the rear ground. So this is, yeah, already good machine, and it will be even better. Hey, let's go forward. We are testing Megamax in our forest. The ground is typical Finnish forest ground. There is stumps. There is rocks. There is everything. It's 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 kind of horrible to go over here. It's sometimes when I was cutting down the trees, I was thinking that hmm, can any machine go over there because it looks so awful. And here we have Megamax at the moment. So we need to drive all of those problems over those problems, and here we are. The drive system in Megamax is pretty good. It's again like always rock bullets. Megamax is made for the forest. It's not good in the trails, it's slow, like always. But when you come to forest, it's great machine. I already love it. It's like the drive system is so nice. So what I have over here, I have in every wheel, I have wheel motor. It's okay, I can show you those. Yep, those yellow ones. Uh, those are uh, super good quality, those take a lot of pressure. So, a lot of torch. In every corner there is a lot of torch, in every wheel Megamax has two times hydrostatic drive system. Front and rear has separate system. So, even like the front section is in the ice, but if you have traction, traction in the rear, it still goes up. It don't care about the front section then. The other nice thing is that it has slow and fast gear. In the fast gear it's already good in the forest, but if you go like uphill and you need huge amount of the power in the snow uphill or something like that, the slow gear there is so much power that it it can carry its weights so easily. It's the drive system is the like one of the major things in the forest machine. When you want to use the crane it's also nice. There is one push button you put that, and then what happens, you have handbrake in that moment in four wheels. So even you are like in the hill, you just press one button and it's, it is over there. And then uh, you have a center lock. So it's like you don't need to have stabilizer legs. And then you, it's like joystick is not anymore for the drive. It's now for the crane. Everything happens just with the one button. And then when, when you want to drive again, again that same button, and then you drive. Everything happens, you don't notice that. Everything happens just like that easily. One more extra nice feature with Megamax is that you have differential lock in the rear and in the front section. Those are both electrical. So when you are over there and you notice that like those are free spinning in the rear, you just have one button over there again. And then you have over here in the rear part, you have differential lock and uh, you can still have in the front differential or vice versa or have both or in this kind of forest at the moment I don't need differential because 
it's no, there is no snow, there is no mud or anything. The ground has good traction, so... But if there would be like snow or something like that, I could use different cell locks. That is super nice again. Megamax's new cabin is pretty nice. This there will be windows also over here. I This is still a prototype, so I'm still like missing. I should have over here AC. So nice air over here. And then like then windows and that kind of stuff. But anyway, like I I really love this cabin now. There is a lot of room over here. So it's it feels roomy. I don't I don't have claustrophobic feel at the moment when I'm sitting over here. I have a nice feeling. And also other thing is like the user interface. So I have over here my joysticks. So those are for the crane and the drive. So this is for the the drive. When there is like in the drive mode. Okay, over here we have these buttons. So this is the drive and locks and this is the fast and low gear. I hope you did see those. So the user interface. So when I'm like doing something, it's like just my hand over here, max, drive, that kind of stuff. It's user interface. So you can see from the cabin super nicely. You can see both wheels, front wheels. That is nice because when you are driving, you really want to see like how those are going around. You can see three tops. That is when you are doing the harvester with harvester head harvesting in the combi machine or with the harvester. And you can also see nicely the crane. So it's, but there is enough room. Every time when I'm in the fairs, there is people who come like, we want to look under the hood, so let's make it now. I'm, I'm pretty strong with one hand. Big hood with one hand. Okay, there is this kind of like gas, gas springs so or how you want to call those. Yeah, and there is one big boy also. 48 kilowatts, Kubota diesel, latest emission. And there is also battery over there and the diesel tank. Those are both practical. I had to swap. I had uh, the battery for my prototype and it was too old. I did notice that, okay, I might run out from the electricity. So I, ha I had to swap, swap that. And it was like five minutes or something like that. And there is new battery. So that is nice to maintain. Other thing is also like this. I was thinking long time where to have diesel tank. And this is a pretty good spot because it's like uh, short lines. You can see the problems. And the other thing is also like you just easily lift this up and you notice that everything is okay in the engine. And so you, that is good for the action. And if you now think about 48 kilowatts, is that a lot or not? So nowadays all the mini forwarders have 19 kilowatts. So there is over double. So it's like super mini forwarder. Also one nice thing about the drive system is that you might notice that there is in the center, there is some hoses, but otherwise it's, you don't really see hoses over here, even like it's hydraulic driven machine. The thing is that when you have this, this area full of wood, yeah, it's huge area, then you cannot see anymore from the cabin. You cannot see over here where the wheels go. You just have to trust and then it's nice that you don't have to worry all the time about the hoses either. So those are hidden over there. There is covers over here, cover over here, and then the hoses goes like over here. 99% of the time you are super happy for that. That less problems. The forest is awful location for the machines. Like everything over here in the ground want to break the machine. So a machine has to be designed that it can come over here in the real real forest. If you just think like theoretically that like where it goes now. This is awful environment for any machine. And yeah, Megamax is over here. About the size of Megamax. So over here there is distance between trees is I think 3.8 meters. It could be 3.5 meters. But the idea is that Megamax has to go through uh, trees, between trees, after first thinning. So the width is 1.9 meters. So it's, it, it, it still can fit inside the forest. 
and uh, wider it, it's it's better for it because like it's it shakes less when it's like wider the length when i was designing mega max my thing was that i i want to deliver these overseas usa canada and other countries where so it has to fit inside container so it's about six meters it can still fit inside 20 foot container and the height it should also fit over there it might be that uh, less pressure in the tires and that kind of stuff but anyways like the height is because the thing is that when you make the machine of course you want to make you don't want to make it too high but the thing is that you need to have ground clearance technical things then you sit and something over your head so that it adds up the height the ground clearance is 40 centimeters at the moment it looks less because like the wheels are down there and everything like that but that is 40 centimeters and if you look it's like it's like main paddle tank from this side when it goes it's like it has to take some damage like there is these old stumps over here and other stuff so it's it has to just go there yeah because the next thing my, my plan is to go actually over there to take some trees and then go over there to take some trees and then go over there, there to take some trees I think we have enough talking at the moment. Let's start her up and start working. We have successfully first purchased over here in the load area. I'm actually taking at the moment such purchase. I will leave spruce and pine over here because those are two different like sales items. So it's so much easier just take one load, just perch, and then I can unload purchase over there. Yeah, and the next I will take these from here and then I will go over here so it's not even like you might have noticed that like the turning I have to like make you move it but it's so simple because you are making that with joystick so even like with a too narrow it's it's easy to play around the machine so it's like very nice to operate like from the crane to drive and then like driving is simple and it's like this wasn't like this was kind of small this turning but the thing is that I just have to go there once or twice so it doesn't matter <laughs> yeah nice machine I will take no more purchase at the moment in the drive, main drive path you can know the tracks over here I have been driving this already several times and if you look at the at the most the forest that is like the already hint and that will be thin behind over there and to be honest it's like in the future it will be more or less impossible to tell where this main drive path was so the ground is good no harm low impact walking in that way and then like the distance between trees is the same than over there in the other area so it's like now you can see it where the main drive path goes because it's like there is these like wheels which have been like these marks but next summer it will be or more or less impossible to tell where i was tri driving this summer so low impact and no actual drive path because the drive path could also go over here because if you look, the distance between trees is the same anyway. We have now birches over here. It's not yet full, but she drives nicely over here. No worries about that. If you think that there is like nothing over there, but even one of these smaller ones, these are heavy ones. So there is like at the moment several like several thousand kilograms load. So the machine total weight is at the moment it's high, but there is eight wheels. All the wheels are like moving forward, so ground stays nice. Machine is nice. I hope you think that this video and log booth is nice. Please give thumb up, and if you want to see more log booth, Mega Max, and original and Forester videos, please press subscribe. So we see you in next video. Thanks a lot and bye.